It has holes. It has more holes. It has a tear in it. But I still love it. Hey guys, this is Mel, your apparel and gear expert here in New York City. So today on this review, I wanted to give you my personal experience of seven years on this Roland Sans Ronin jacket. I will go over the good. I will go over the bad. I will go over the ugly. So here it is on film, my Roland Sands Ronin jacket, which I purchased circa 2016, 2017? I don't quite remember. So made from a wax cowhide measuring about 0.9 millimeters to one millimeter thickness. It has that retro look, it has that cafe look, it has that cool look with pre-curved sleeves. Why am I flexing like this? And those sleeves are made from multiple panels with a perforated leather underneath the armpits for air. So let's start with the exterior. So the exterior has four pockets. You have a breast pocket, you have your two side hand warmer pockets, and then you have the wrist pocket, which is actually my favorite pocket. That did not sound right. And speaking of the pockets, one great detail that Roland Sands has done with this Ronin jacket is that the side pockets on the side, they don't zip from bottom up, they zip top to bottom, which makes it so much easier when you're riding. You, you, you know, for those of you who are riding, and trying to zip and it doesn't doesn't work and in terms of that little uh you know side pocket thing here on the arm it's it's cool it's so amazing it makes it so much easier for so many things and also the collar the mandarin style collar so it doesn't have the flappy collars it has that you know nice close look so in the winter time you can you know kind of seal up seal up the flavor of your riding now for the interior so the interior itself is made from a satin poly lining and the inside jacket does have five other pockets. You have two stretchy ones uh, internally by your stomach. You have one on your left by your chest and one on your right by your chest. And then you have another internal one by your chest. So that's five pockets. That's a lot of pockets. What am I going to do with all those pockets? So at the time of my purchase, the Roland Sands Ronin jacket did not come with body armor. You would have to purchase that separately, but it does have the pockets for the, the armor in your elbows, shoulders, back i feel like i'm doing head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes back so at the time of my purchase it came in a small medium large extra large and a double extra large for me i chose the small but i have a big heart and it came in the colorways black like the one i have now a cool brown tobacco brown and oxblood red like my eyes sometimes in these videos so here are the pros based on my ownership of this jacket for the past seven years here in New York City and riding everywhere. So here is the good after seven years. So I first chose this jacket because of its styling. Back then it was cool, it was stylish, it just looked retro and cafe racer. And even after seven years, it still does. And because of all that, that is why it's my main jacket almost year round. I wear it in the summertime, I wear it in the winter time. And regardless of the weather conditions, it has performed well and, and really patinaed well. As I've grown through the years, I've worn this through the years, it has conformed to my body. I mean, it's a little bit more, you know, loose and, and still fitting and filling, but it still has a great, great look. So in terms of riding in the wintertime, um, it's all right. It's, it, it's not, you know, it's an organic material. It's leather, so, and it's perforated. So as long as I was wearing a, like, a, a thermal layer underneath, I was, I was good. I was good. In terms of the summertime, like now, it's kind of hot here in New York City. Uh, it does a job perfectly. That perforated leather underneath the, uh, the arms is more than enough airflow for me. Also, I, I don't have hair, so I got that going for me. Another good, as I mentioned earlier, is that patina. So because it is leather, it will patina beautifully to your own body, you know, movements and conditions and whatever you're doing. So in terms of good news for the pockets, pros, the pockets, I do use most of the pockets, but the main one I mostly use is going to be that exterior, uh, what do you call this pocket? This pocket thing? I put my money in it. I put my motorcycle keys in it. I put my heart in it. No, but really, all joking aside, it is a very useful pocket, whether you're pulling up to a toll road or you just need to access something really quick. And in addition, all the other pockets I, I use, you know, Quite, quite often, not so much. I don't really use so much the internal pockets, although I will say when I used to ride around, I used to keep my paperwork for like all my registration and insurance and all that. I used to keep it in this upper uh, internal left pocket. So even after the seven years, this jacket has held up amazingly. It's still my main jacket. I use it as much as I can because I love it. So now to the bad or the cons, if you want. 
So honestly, there's only two main things I will say. As you notice over here in the, the video, it did start ripping at the seams by, and, and this is all located underneath where the, the perforated leather is on the internal side of your, your sleeves. One side has that hole in it. I have no idea how that happened. Maybe I was just walking around and my arm swinging and it was rubbing against him, rubbing against something. I don't know. The other one, it just looks like the, uh, the leather or the, the threading just gave way, but all of that is an easy fix. I do leather work too. So not a big deal, but I just haven't got around to it. And another thing, there was another random tear. I have no idea how that happened. Who knows? But I get it. It's on the perforated leather. So that's kind of a weak point. Another thing that was kind of a con, even after seven years, at least back then, um, is the back armor. The back armor back then you had to purchase separately. So the, and it's a, that's an additional like $100. And the jacket back then cost like $600. So like in total, it was like $700. That's about it. That's about the only gripes I have with the jacket. But that's I guess that's normal for any anything that you're going to be using for that much, that long, in all conditions. So eh, it is what it is, as they say. So would I recommend this jacket if you're planning to purchase it today in 2023 in August, it's August today. Yeah, I definitely would suggest it. And now there's also the Ronin CE version. Ronin CE means that it based honestly, Ronin CE means it comes with with armor this time. So if you're interested in purchasing a Ronin CE jacket, which is the current version today, it is currently available for around $725. And I believe that does include shoulder and elbow armor, but you have to purchase your own back armor. Oh, and also this current version is double A rating. Double A. Double A's. So should you run out and get yours today? Yeah, you should. So I will provide links below as to where you can purchase your Roland Sands Ronin CE jacket. And then maybe you can tell me what it's like seven years later. That'll be what? <sighs> seven years is going to be 2030. We might be like riding motorcycles on Mars by then. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for all the support you guys have shown me this past month. Wow. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm not sure where I'm going to put the, uh, the things, but don't, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you again so much for taking your time to watch Cafe Racer, New York City.